Okay, let's get going. Get warmed up, get moving for the morning. 9.32 and here we go. Just getting my timer. Okay, good. We know the drill. Let's get our legs moving and arms moving, shoulders back, tummy in, shoulders lined up over hips, hips over knees, knees over ankles. And here we go. Get those arms going and legs going. Good work. And we're gonna march for three and tap. So one, two, three, and tap. Nice and light on your toes. Pushing off with the toes, driving those knees up. Four to go. And you go at your own pace. If you need to go slower, you can. And last one. Side stepping. Nice big steps. When you're ready, you can add the arms in or you leave the arms out. If the arms just confuse you, you can leave them out. Add them in once you feel confident. Good. Just relax those shoulders. Think about the position of your shoulders. So shoulders back and down, long neck, tuck your chin, feel like you're being pulled up by a piece of string by the top of your head. Engage those tummy muscles. Really think about sucking them in, drawing them in for five, four, three, two, one. Hamstring curls, reaching forward and pulling that heel in towards your bottom. Both arms reaching forward, or you just leave the arms and get the legs going first. Good work. Keep going there. Good. Keep it up. You can speed it up if it feels too slow or slow it down if it feels too fast. For four, three, two, keep your legs wide. Bend and tap. Now you shift in your weight side to side, little knee bend in the middle and tap. And you're gonna reach the arm across your body. Little bit of rotation, not too much. Engage those tummy muscles. From the side, you can see a little bit of rotation. Knee bend and tap. Good work. Four more. Three, two, reaching up overhead. Reach overhead, same leg movement. And you slow it down if you want to, and if you need to. Get those legs nice and wide, little knee bend, reach. Knee bend, reach. For four, three, two, back to marching. And now get those legs and arms going a little bit higher. Driving them up. Using those arms to drive the legs. Get the knees up. Good work. For four, three, two, stepping forward. So forward and back. Get the heel down as you step forward. Heel down, toe back. Heel down, toe back. When you're ready, add arms, just like you're walking or running. Step forward, step back. Make sure your shoulders stay more or less over your feet so your body is moving along with you to stay over that base of support. Good. Three more. Two. Change sides. Other side leading. Forward and back. Forward and back. Driving those arms. Pull the tummy in. Keep it going for four. And three, two, and one. March for three and tap. March, two, three, and tap. Good. Four more. Use those arms. Four, and three, two. Side stepping. Step and tap. Strong arms. And string curls, reaching forward, bringing that heel up towards your bum. Good, keep it there, we'll keep it there for eight more. Last four, three, keep the legs wide, reaching across. Good, and overhead when you're ready. And if you have any discomfort in your shoulder, just keep it lower. We're gonna keep it here. Last eight. 
for four, three, two, stepping front to back. March it out just for a couple. Then we get our legs right. So forward and back, forward and back. Big step, big step. Four, three, two, and one. Change sides, other side, forward and back. Get that heel down. Excellent, keep going. Last three, two, and one. And standing, draw those tummy muscles in, shoulders back, knee lifts, so up and down. Really slow and controlled. Think about using those abdominal muscles, those deep muscles to stabilize as you're lifting. Alternate leg, you can bring the arms in. When you've got it and you feel you've got your balance, you can speed it up. Really engage the tummy. Use those deeper muscles. <clears throat> Good work. Nice, strong arms. Tapping behind. Step, tap behind. Good. And we're going in front again. High knees. For four, three, two, and behind. Step and tap. Last four, three, two, and one. And march it out. Let's do backstroke with our arms. So big shoulder circle and take the other side. Go within the range that you have. You can keep it much smaller. You can almost do just a shoulder shrug if that feels better. Keep the legs moving. Three, two, and one. Leg shoulder width apart, little squats. Hinge at the hips, stick the tailbone out behind, pull the tummy in. Flat back, neutral spine, not too deep, just warming up. We're going into this squat exercise. It's one of our first ones. So we're just warming up those legs for four, three, two, and one. Tapping behind, tap behind and back in. Tap behind, back in. Alternating legs, just getting that nice big reach. Reaching back, reaching back for four, three, two, one. Take one leg back, hold it there. You're on the toe on the back leg. Your front knee is behind your foot. You drop down, straighten up. Your weight is centered between your two feet. You can hold on for balance if you need to. Down and up, down and up. Three, two, one. Change sides, other side back. Nice big step, shoulders back, tummy in. Down and up, down and up. Good. Nice and square and balanced. Equal weight for four, three, two, and one. And bring it back and march it up. Really get those arms and legs going out. Nice and quick. We've got 30 seconds and then we're going to go. So nice, quick arms, nice, quick legs. Get your heart rate going up a little bit. You should always be able to talk. Do you feel like you're exercising, moving, getting up a sweat, but not that you can't talk? That's the big test. Good work. For those of you who prefer to jog it, you can jog it out. Just nice, light jogging on the spot. You don't have to do high knees. Just get those feet going. Good work for five, four, three, two, one. All right, first exercise. Here we go. Rocket squats. We know this one well. So you're going down, two, three, and then coming up. Okay. Here we go. So down, two, three, push up. Down, two, three, push up. Ensure you have this neutral spine. So a little bit of a curve in your spine. You don't want to be going round. Okay, no rounding. So open up that chest. Keep your chest up, head up, and sit back with your bum, weight onto your heels, and up, good. Option two is you can power up. Still going down, two, 
three with a bit of power. Get your weight onto the heels quickly. Okay, good work. Keep going. I'm just going to see who's doing what. Keep the chest open and the head up. Good work. That looks good. Think about that weight going through your heels. Good. We have 15 seconds left. And up or down, two, three, with the power. Two more. Last one, down, two, three, and up. March it up, move to the side of your space. 10 seconds, I'm gonna show you the next one. Option one, you're doing side shuffles. So you either, you're going low for two steps, but your knees and your hips stay slightly bent. It's like you're moving underneath the platform or you shuffle, hold, shuffle, hold. That's option two. Okay, here we go. Big side step. You can add arms in when you're ready, but stay low. You'll feel it in the quads and in the glutes. Your bum sticking out a little bit behind you. Staying low, nice big steps. Good. Or a quick shuffle. Shuffle and hold. Good. Using runner's arms if you're doing the shuffle, sideways arms if you're doing the side stepping. Nice and controlled, keep that knee over your toe. Stay low. Should feel it in the quads. Neutral spine, good posture. Shuffle, hold, shuffle, hold, or stepping. Good work. 15 seconds. If you're doing the shuffle, nice quick feet. If you're doing the side step, stay low. Five seconds. Good. Three, two, one. March it up. Well done. That's exercise two. Exercise three, heel digs. So you step, you push that heel forward, back up, step, back up. Bending that stabilizing knee. You stay straight with the rest of your body. Your arms push down. This is the stepping option. Jumping, you add a little hop between. Here we go. Push those arms, get your weight onto the heel on the standing side. You take it onto the toe and then flat foot. Pull the toe up at the front. Extend that knee. Really work on extending that knee at the front. Push those arms. So you're up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Feel that real difference in height. Good. Nice. Big change, pushing those arms, leading with the elbows as they come up. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Good. Good work, guys. Keep it up. You listen to your own body, though. I always say keep it up, but if you need a break, you take a break whenever you need it. Try and keep your body nice and straight and strong over your legs so no leaning side to side stay tall and straight 10 seconds use those arms you'll feel them pushing down feel like you're pushing the floor away from you with your hands four three two one march it out next one you're on the wall with hand weights find your wall you slide down, hips and knees, 90 degrees. So from the side, this is kind of what you look like. You're there, got a tiny little ledge tucking, link in on there. You're going down, shoulders back, tuck your chin, and you're just gonna do bicep curls as you're holding it in that wall squat. Here we go. And hold. Bicep curls up and down. Draw those tummy muscles in. Really get a good neck posture. My ponytail's a little bit in the way, but you want the back of your head against the wall and your chin tucked. You can just do it in this hammer position. So palms are facing forward. Oh, I mean, palms are facing your body. The weights face forward and you're up and down and you hold it there. 
Good. And go a little lower if you can. And hold. 15 seconds. Pull those tummy muscles in. If you started late, you can go on a little longer after. Should feel those quads. If you're feeling it too much, slide up a bit more. Five, four, three, two, one. Slide up and just strike the shoulders. We're gonna go back into that same position one more time. This time you're gonna go overhead with the weights. You don't have to. You can stay with the bicep curls or leave the weights completely. All right, back, here we go. In your wall squat. Down you go, shoulders back, chin tucked, and you push up and release. Push and release. Try and have a neutral neck position, pushing that head back into the wall. Feel the deep neck muscles working. If you don't feel it in the legs, go a little further down. Good. If you feel like this makes you very out of breath, you keep those arms low. Shoulders squeeze back and down. Good. Any shoulder pain, you stay low. No pain allowed, okay? In the shoulders. For five, four, three, two, and one. And up you come, weights down. Shake it up. Okay, that's set one, round one. March it out, we've got 15 seconds. How's everyone doing? Give me a thumbs up if you're A-OK. -okay. Good, keep moving, have a sip of water. And remember, if you need breaks at any point, you just take them whenever you need to. Don't need to wait for me. All right, exercise one. Rocket squat, here we go. Down, two, three, and up. Good. Make sure you've got equal weight going through those feet, okay? Equal weight. As you go down, you get your weight through onto those heels. Hinge at the hips, flat back. Sticking your tailbone out behind you. Good. All right, keep it up. Reach those arms. You can add power if you want to, or just focus on your technique. Equal weight. 10 seconds to go. Think about what's next. Two more. And one. Moving to the side of your space. 10 second march. If you need a longer break, you take it. Side stepping or side shuffle. Here we go. Side steps. And back. Or shuffle, hold, shuffle, hold. Either option is good. Pick what works for you. Nice and strong, stay low. Regardless of which one you're doing, you're staying low with that knee bend. Nice and quick. Good work. Shuffle, hold. Keep going. Nice quick feet. Don't forget about your posture. If you feel like you're losing it a bit, stop, reset. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. March it out, well done. Next one, heel digs. Get the posture right first, shoulders back and down, chest out and open, tummy in. And you're down and up. Exaggerate the amplitude in those legs. Down and up. Little knee bend to get that heel down, fully extend the other leg. So one is bending, the other is extending. You can add a hop. Push the hands down, push, push. Use that, feel like you're pushing the floor away from you as you go down. Flat hands, open your fingers out, working all the way through your wrists. Try and lead with those elbows, so those elbows come up first. Good work. 
Excellent, keep going. So stepping, or just a little hop between. Think about big amplitude. Reach that leg forward. Heel down, toes up. Good. 10 seconds. Should feel your heart rate going up a bit. Not too much though. Five, four, three, two, one. March it out, weights in hand and on the wall. Two sets. Here we go. Find your wall, shoulders back down, feet in front, knees behind the, behind the toes, lined up with the middle toe. And here we go. And you do bicep curls first. Really work on that head posture. Getting that chin tuck with your head flat on the wall behind you. And if you don't want to, for whatever reason, go on the wall, you can just do the bicep curls. Good work. 15 seconds. If you don't feel it in the legs, you can go a little lower. Draw those tummy muscles in. Five, four, three, two, one. Slide up, just give the legs a break. Kick them out, march it out. One more set. You're going down and you're going to do the shoulder press. Feet in front of you, shoulder width apart, sink down, hands on your shoulders. You press up and down, only if it feels good in your shoulders. Tuck the chin, push those shoulder blades back into the wall behind you. Sink down, neutral spine, tummy tight. 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and slide up, weights down, step off the wall. Well done, okay. Quick sip of water that is round two, and then we're on to set two. How's everyone doing? All right, thumbs up. And don't give thumbs up if you're not okay. If you feel like you need a longer break, you take a longer break. Okay, excellent. Here we go. Keep moving. Don't stop. Don't stop moving during the breaks. Keep moving in your space, whatever feels good to you. All right, next one. We're doing high knees um, for 30 seconds, and then we're going to do a crossover knee for the last 30 seconds, okay? So it's just high knees to start off with, and we can do arms up and down. Or you can do arms front like that, or you can jog high knees. Here we go. And up, I'll do the stepping version first. Option one with the arms, option two with the arms, front and back. Option three, you can just drive those knees up in a high knee jog. Any option is good. You pick one or two or three. Getting those knees up. Nice and high, whichever one you're doing, I want the focus to be on that real lift. Up, 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 or up, 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 or up, up, up. Keep going. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Option two, we're doing up and over. Not option two, exercise two, up and tap. So we'll slow it down. It's up, tap, really challenging for balance. And if that's okay, you add arms and you sweep those arms over, tap and open. Big amplitude with those legs. If you had a crayon through your knee, we're drawing a huge circle in the sky. Imagine you've got, I don't know, those one of those rhythmic gymnastics ribbons in your arms and you are trying to fling them through the sky. <sighs> Never done that, but I can imagine it would look quite pretty with everyone flinging their arms about with control, good controlled arms, tummy nice and tight, crossing over and back 10 seconds, <sighs> three, and two, and one, 
and march it up. Well done. So that really challenges balance, getting some big range to the shoulders. If your shoulders feel it, you just keep the range smaller or you leave out the shoulders. Exercise two, runners. We're doing it with bilateral arms. So one leg behind, arms in front, and you drive that knee up as you push your arms back. Keep your back flat and straight. Don't drown. You're pushing those arms back as you bring your knee up. Imagine you have a, a piece of wood or a tile and you're breaking it over your knee. Okay? Real power. Here we go. Power through those arms, power through the leg. Reach that leg back. Lean forward. Makes it harder the bigger the amplitude. If it's challenging and your balance is challenged, take it smaller and slower. Okay? Keep your whole foot flat in the front. The back leg, just the toes tapping. I'm not fully shifting my weight back, just keeping my front knee bent, driving that back knee up. Good. You'll feel it in the glutes on the standing side, working hard. Should feel in your tummy muscles. They should be working hard too to control the lift of the knee and the power from the arms. 10 seconds. Try and get that back leg to go to the same point every time. Five, four, three, two, one. Change sides. Other side, standing, supporting leg, other leg back, arms reached. Really extend that back leg. Reach it back as you drive that knee up. Good. Nice and strong. Engage tummy, back of the shoulders, chin, deep muscles in the front of the chin. Just get that little tip if you're not up there and you're not down there. Neutral. Get that same far reach. Good work. Keep going. First round, we do longer intervals. If you need a break, you take a break. Good work. We have 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and march it out. And you should feel it here, kind of in the glute muscles because they are the things that are stabilizing and holding. March it up. Good strong glutes protect our knees. Next one, pop squats. Make sure the knees are lined up over your toes. So you're stepping out, coming back in, your feet are slightly turned out. That's option one. Option two with a pop, and you can go between. Here we go. Down and up. Reach that hand between. Equal weight between both knees. Flat back. Get that tailbone back, or you're doing this pop up in the middle, lighten your toes, and you back out, weight through onto your heels. Good. Keep going. Control at the pace that feels good for you. Remember to stick that tailbone out behind you. Stick it out behind. Good work. Just 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. March it out. Keep those legs marching. 20 seconds march here before we're on to our next one. Heart rates can go up high with this. Make sure you can talk. Don't just stop moving. As you're marching, 10 more seconds. Next exercise is plank. You're on a wall, on a bench. Our first, first option is just holding, not doing anything else. Second, we're gonna do arm lifts, and then we're gonna do leg lifts. Not combined though. So find your wall, your bench, whatever you're gonna lean against. Make sure your wrist is lined up with your elbow and your shoulder. Okay, nice straight line. You can be straight on a wall, on a bench, or on the floor. Here we go. 
Hold it there. Draw that belly button in towards your spine. Straighten your knees. Squeeze your bum. And those who want to, we're gonna do alternate arm lift. If you're on the wall, it's just a very small movement up the wall, okay? Can't demonstrate that too well here. For five, keep those shoulders square. Three, two, one, legs now, up and down. If you can't do this without wibbling and wobbling and getting big rotation through your trunk, don't do it, just hold. Good work, five, four, three, two, one, last one, knees in, knees up, knees up. You can take a break if you need to, knees up, flat back, reaching that leg out, engage the tummy, for five, four, three, two, one, step in, step in and up. Shake out those arms. Okay, are we good? Keep moving back to the beginning of set two. We've got high knees um, and then the crossover knees. Here we go. We'll start in five seconds. One minute intervals now. And here we go. So up with high knees, arm option one, arm option two, or jogging those high knees, driving them up. Use whichever arms you like, jogging or not. If you're doing arms up like this, think about squeezing those elbows back and down as your arms come down, or squeezing those elbows back as they're in this plane. Good. Jogging, you can use runner's arms just to drive those knees up. Engage the tummy, good. Tuck that chin, keep a long straight neck. Good work. Looking good, everybody. 10 seconds. And then we're going over to crisscross legs. For five, four, three, two, one. Watch the change, up and tap. No arms to start, get your balance. Shoulders back and down, tummy in. Big circle in the sky. Add arms if and when you're ready. Don't need to, if you don't want to. You can hold on for balance if you need to. We're going over the midline. Very challenging for balance. So do what feels acceptable to you. Holding on is fine. Hold on lightly, just focus on the legs. Really engage those tummy muscles. Good. Over and tap. Nice big sweeping movement. Big amplitude, big range. Five. And four. Three. Two and one. Well done. March it out. Runners is next. Here we go. Stepping one leg back, both arms and up. Power that knee up. Power those arms back. Pushing the palms back behind you. Keep the chest open. Really open up here as you push those arms back. Front knee stays slightly bent all the time. It's not straightening, like a little spring in it, but you're not straightening it up. Good work, keep going. Try and get that leg as far back as you can. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, change sides and go up. Drive that knee, good. Make sure you've got the space, reaching back, neutral spine, tummy in, neutral back, so a little curve. Good work, guys. If you need a break, you take a break. If you can keep going to the end, hang in there. 15 seconds.
five, four, three, two, one. March it out. Well done. Feel it in those boots. Pop squats is next. Shoulders back, tummy in. So the slow version, you step out, squat down, up, together, out, down, up, together. Here we go. Go with the pace that works for you. Equal weight through both feet. Option two, you add the pop. Good work. Nice and light on those toes in the middle. Good. You're gonna see who's doing what. If you're doing the squat down in the middle, make sure your weight's on both legs. Bring that shoulder blade back as you come up. Down and up. Okay. Keep going. 15 seconds. Excellent work. Five, four, three, two, one. March it up. Well done. Whew. Good work. We're on top plank. So either on the wall or on a bench or on the floor. Now, if your wrists are feeling it after the first time and you don't want to put your arms or your wrists back through pressure, you can do alternate knee to elbow for the whole time. Keeping your body nice and straight. Here we go. In that plank, straighten the knees, pull the tummy in, flat back, shoulders lined up over your wrists. And you're gonna lift arm and down. Keeping your whole body really still as you change from arm to arm. Four to go. Three, two, and one, legs. Just that little lift up. Keep the knees straight. Don't let that hip externally rotate, just straight up. Two, and one. Knee to elbow, and up, and up. Really pull those tummy muscles in. Feel them working. Five, four, three, two, one. Step one leg in, other one in. And up you come slowly. Make sure you're not dizzy before you move. Well done. Here we go. Okay, that was round two. On to set three. How are we doing? Thumbs up. All right, get a quick sip of water. And we're on to set three. Good work, everybody. Take a few more seconds. Don't stand still if possible. Just keep moving, keep marching on the spot. Good. Okay. Good work. Set three. We've got quick feet to start off with. So out, out, in, in. Nice and light on your toes. Imagine there's a box drawn around your feet. You've got to step out that box and back in. We're not going too wide. It's a small box, okay? Jogging or marching, we're going to start leading with our right leg. Here we go. Out and in. This is option one. Driving those arms. Stay tall. Someone's pulling you up by a piece of string towards the ceiling. You're on your toes or you're jogging. Out and in. This is option two. Light. Light as a feather on those toes. Out wide and in. Get out wide and in. So wider base, narrow base. Good. Keep the knees lined up over the middle toe. Keep those knees straight forward or slightly out to the side, but not in. So marching or jogging. Nice and light. And quick. We're on hot sand or quick sand. Don't want to leave the feet there for too long. Good. Like that speed. In, out and in. And we're going to switch sides. Other leg leads. Out and in with the other leg now. So switching. Left goes first. Left goes first. Might find easier one way than the other. We we'll have to practice both. Out and in. Light on those toes. Working on that agility. We need our feet to move quickly to catch us at times. It's training that speed. Out and in. Marching, jogging. 
dropping. Doesn't matter which option you do, nice and quick. Use those arms. If the legs feel like they're just not listening, you can leave the arms out, get the legs, and add the arms. Nice and light. Maybe you feel suspended. Hold up. Good work. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and march it up. Well done. Backward lunges next. Backward lunges. So big step back, drop down, drive up. We know this one really well. It is such a good one for balance, for hips, for postural control with no jump or where's the jump? And if you can't lift the knee and hold your balance, you can just come up. Right, here we go. And up, back and up. Same leg all the time, working into that bum. One minute each side. Drive up or tap or knee up. You can hold on, use that opposite arm to really drive that knee up. You're driving up towards the ceiling. Good. Up towards the ceiling. Up and up. Good. Drop down if you can. Drop and all the way up. If your knee bothers you, you can just tap back and drive up. If possible, drop down and up. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Change sides, other side. Big step back, drop that knee down and tap, drop, drive up, drop, power, okay? Get that opposite arm up. So when you're up in the air, opposite arm is reaching up towards the ceiling to drive that knee up. Good. We're halfway. You can go between the different options. Do what works for you. Try and drop that leg down, drive up. 12 seconds to go. Last five, four, three, two, one. Woo. March it out. To feel those glutes. Let's kick the legs in front. Get those heels down. Right. Next one, weights in hand, airplane rows. If you cannot balance here, you use one arm, okay? If you can balance, you're gonna use two arms in a row. Your legs might feel wobbly, so don't feel like you've got to do two arms. Do what you can. Step back. Lean and fold over straight line from your head to your toe. And you drive those elbows back. Pull those tummy muscles in. If you've never done this exercise before, hold on, do one arm. Really important that you have a flat back, shoulders squeeze together, straight knee, and then you lean forward. Engage those tummy muscles and drive those elbows back. Good. Thanks, Nancy. Take care. I really want a flat back. Don't want anybody rounding their backs. The emphasis is on squeezing those shoulder blades together at the back. Good work. Pull that tummy in. For five, four, three, two, one, switch sides, other side. So it's easier if your leg is lower, it gets harder as you pivot forward. So if you can, you go to there and drive. If you can't manage to extend that knee there, you lean up a bit more. So you're pivoting from that hip. Stay where you can and drive those elbows back. Really extend that back knee. 
my knee always wants to bend, my hip wants to rotate. I'm now looking at you forward. If you guys are doing this, try not to look forward, tuck your chin. So if you're facing the screen, I should see the top of your head. Good. Squeeze those elbows back. Good. Good work. Really pull the tummies in. We have 15 seconds. Good, for five, four, three, two, one, and release, march it out. Good work. Keep your weights in hand. Just keep those legs moving for a bit and then bring them to a stop. Your feet are shoulder width apart, shoulders back and down, and you're into deadlift and squeeze up. So just hinge forward and squeeze back. Do not round your back. You will 100% hurt your back if you round here. Flat, 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 flat. Even if you go five centimeters, that's fine. But your back is flat. I don't want any round backs. Chest open, good. Good work. For five, four, three, two, and one, hold it down there, go into more of a squat now, and tuck those elbows back and extend the elbows. So your angle should be kind of a bit of a hinge in the hip. You're not down here. You're more upright. You're at a diagonal line towards the ceiling. Elbows are back, and then you straighten those elbows. Bend your knees, sit back. If you feel it in your back at all, if you feel you're rounding, just sit on a chair and do the same thing. Same idea. That's the angle your back should be at. No rounding. And get to that end extension all the way to the end. Good. If in doubt, and if you're not sure if you round, rather come up a little bit, then stay down and hurt yourself, okay? Safety first. Good, that looks good. Extend and bend. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. Feel that little bit of that extra, oh, there's a little bit more range in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Up you come, just give your back a little bit of a break. One more exercise here. Again, same position, and you open those arms out and close. Now, if you feel strain in your back, bend your elbows and make it smaller, okay? So it's a shorter lever. Good work. Squeezing open. Squeeze open. For five, four, three, two, and one. Weight down and march it out. March it out. Now, do you see some of you when you're going into those weighted exercises, you're going a little too far and landing up a bit like this. This will potentially not feel very good in your back. So rather come up, keep that chest open, check yourself in a mirror later today and see where you can get to with keeping a nice neutral open back. If you're finding yourself here or here, you'll strain your back. So nice and flat tummy in, and it doesn't matter if it's not too low. Okay, marching out, ready? How's everyone doing? Should check first, are we good? Give me thumbs up if we're good. One more set. We are nearly there. One more set. Quick feet. Here we go. Out and in. Driving those arms. Driving those legs. Light on the toes. Marching or jogging. Imagine that box. Trying to get your feet in and out. It's not super high. It's maybe three, four inches off the floor. But you've got to lift those feet up and over. But do lift them up. Don't let them drag on the floor. Nice and quick. 15 seconds this side. Good jogging. Really light on your toes. Ready to switch. In five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Out and in. Out and in. Light on those toes.
Good work. Keep going. Nice and light, pull those tummy muscles in. Use the arms. Getting those steps in. 15 seconds to go. Find leg, what's next? Keep going nice and quick. Five, four, three, two, one. March it out, backward lunges. Lunge and up into a knee lift or a tap. Here we go. Down and tap, down and lift or down and power. Okay, good work. Really think about your technique. If you feel like your legs are too tired to jump, don't jump now. Protect your joints, control the entire movement. Down and up. Strong with the arms. Good work. Ten seconds, and we're switching. Good work. Three, two, one. Other side. Here we go. Down and tap. Down and lift, or down with the jump. Good. I'm gonna see how we're doing. Good, strong posture. Drop that knee down if you can. Get that arm extending, reaching up towards the ceiling. Working on balance. Feel that length in your spine as you're reaching towards the ceiling. Good work. Ten seconds to go. Last four, three, two, one, and march it out. Well done. Just kick those legs out. Give the knees a break. Dig the heels. Weights in hand, and we're onto our airplane with our rows. Here we go. One arm weights or two. If you're holding on, use one arm. I'm gonna hold on so I can turn and look. And here we go. Drive that elbow up, extend that leg, extend the knee, lift it up, flat back. Shoulders are square, hips are square. You're not rotated anywhere, and you're driving that elbow back. Good work. Keep lifted, engage the tummy, keep the chest open. Five to go, five, four, three, two, one, and up you come. Whew. I feel myself with that one as it goes on, my leg starts to droop. So as you feel that leg dropping, lift it up, other side. Here we go, lifting, hips not rotated, extend that knee, and you drive that elbow back. Tuck it into your waist. Either two arms or one. I'm holding on for balance now, so I can turn and look. Keep that leg lifted, really engage the glute on that side. Good work. Keep going, 10 to go. Nine. Five. Four, three, two, one. Up you come, keep going out. All right, we're onto our weights. So almost there, deadlift. Shoulders back and down, and you hinge forward, squeeze back. As you come up, really engage your bum. Here we go. Just 10 of each, and up. Good. 
in your own time. We'll switch in just a bit. Five more on my count. Nice flat back, stick that tailbone out behind. Two and one. And you go down, hold it there. And from here, you're going to extend. So extend those elbows all the way to the end. Flat back. Good. Let's go for five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten flies. Open and close. Really flat back. There's a broomstick going from your head to your tailbone. There'd be no bend in it. That's five, four, three, two, and one. And put the weights down. Well done. Good work. Kick the legs out and just circle those shoulders. Up, back, down, and round. Good. And sweep round. Just keep those legs moving, marching or heel kicks, whichever one you want to do. Big sweeps. Two more. And one. Well done. Have your legs shoulder width apart. Soft knees, arms in front. We're going to open the spine of the book. So open that arm. Keep your hips facing forward. Open and close. And other side. Open and close. One more each side. And close. And open and close. Good. Hands just above your knees on your thighs. Flat back. Now round your back. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Tuck your chin. And flatten back off again. And tuck. And release. Good. Perch yourself on a chair if you can. Want to stretch out the glutes. Bring one foot up and rest it on your knee. So that's the angle. There, sitting up really tall, gently fold forward. Just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'll go into the little bench here. So I'm here, one foot's up, and I'm there, no pressure through the knee, and I gently lean forward. I'm not pushing. Try and keep this knee out, but don't excessively force it. And you have this tiny little forward lean. If you're really flexible, you can lean forward, but I want you to round, stay tall. And switch sides, other side, so the other foot's on. Sit nice and tall and gently lean. No pressure through that knee. It's almost more just sitting in this tall position. Can you hold that? If you can, you go slightly forward. Good. Up you come, switch sides again. Now bring that knee up, hold on underneath and just hold it there, feel a stretch a little bit through the back of your bum. And the other side, bring that leg up, sitting really tall. And into the hamstrings, one leg straight, the other one bent, and you fold in half. This toe is pulled up if you can, don't worry if you can't. The main emphasis is trying to get this leg straight and fold your back in half. You can do this in sitting or standing. So standing, you're there. Good. And up you come. Switch legs, other leg, and fold. Keep that chest open. Good. And up you come. Good, and just sitting tall or standing tall, I want you to reach one hand up to the ceiling, the other one down to the floor. Keep your chest open. Good. And switch, 
reach up. So either you're in sitting or you're in standing, reaching, feel your whole abdominal wall stretching out and down. One more time each side, reach. One hand down, one up. Weights equal through both feet or equal through both bum cheeks. And release, and last one up. And release. Two more shoulder shrugs, and we'll do a deep breath in. Deep breath in. Fill your lungs with air, and breathe out. And one more time up. And breathe out. Well done, everybody. That is great work.